to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.1 and problem number 3.1. A. Resolve the 4000 Newton's force as shown in the figure A into two parallel components P and Q acting respectively along A and BB. That means there is a 4000 4, newtons force acting at A. This force we need to resolve into two components. One force is acting along AA and another force acting along BB. Let us assume that P, Q are the two forces acting along AA and BB. The first primary condition is the sum of these two forces must be equal to the parent force 4000. That means P plus Q is equal to 4000. Second condition to be satisfied is the moments must also be same. So for that we will try to take a moment about any point in the system. So I will take the moments about point A. Now let us consider, let us consider this is a distance X. So this is X, X like that. So if you take moments about point A, P multiplied with the total distance is 2X that must be equal to Q multiplied by the total distance 3x. The Q will introduce a moment in this direction. The P will moment will introduce in this direction. So both will opposite. Hence P into 2x is equal to Q into 3x. Upon simplification you will get 2P is equal to 3Q. There are two equations now. P plus Q is equal to 4000. And the second equation 2P is equal to 3Q. Upon solving these two equations I can say that the force P is equal to 2400 Newtons and force Q is equal to 1600 Newtons. These two are the uh, answers for A. Next B. Resolve the same force into two parallel components P and Q acting respectively along BB and CC. Now the same 4000 force I need to resolve along BB and CC. So just similar to the previous one. Let us assume that there are two forces P and Q. The forces are acting along BB and the forces are acting QQ. The first primary condition, the sum of the two forces must be equal to 4000. Hence P plus Q is equal to 4000. And also the moments must also be satisfied. So for that, I will consider the moments about point A. If I consider the moments about point A, the Q will introduce a moment in this direction. The P will also introduce the moment in this direction. And the distances, let us, the each unit, let us assume the distance is X. Hence, this distance becomes 3X. <coughs> now, if you take the moments about point A, then I will get P into 3X plus Q into X is equal to 0. Upon simplification, I will get 3P plus Q is equal to 0. Now, I have two equations. P plus Q is equal to 4000. 3p plus q is equal to 0. So after solving these two equations, then I will get p is equal to minus 2000 newtons and q is equal to 6000 newtons. That means the p force will act in the opposite direction because I am getting negative. So these two are the answers for the given problem. Third one, resolve the same force into a force p at b. And a couple represent the couple by forces acting along BB and CC. So I need to replace this 4000 Newton's force P with a couple at B. There is a couple here. And also the forces acting along BB and CC. So for that, to represent this couple, what I will do? I will introduce P force and P force in the same di opposite directions. So this is known as an equivalent system that P is equal to 4000 Newtons. Now this 4000 Newtons and this 4000 Newtons, look at this force and this force. These two forces will introduce a couple in this direction and the magnitude of the couple is equal to 4000 multiplied by this distance. And this 4000 newtons will be continued. 
so these two forces i can replace with a couple and this 4000 newtons will be continued that means this 4000 newtons will be there and this can be represented with 8000 newtons because let us this this distance this distance is two units or you can say hence i can say 8000 newton into units So, P is equal to 4000 newtons and couple is equal to 8000 newton into units and it will act in the counter di counter clockwise direction. According to this problem, the 8000 newtons unit, this couple must be represented by two forces acting along BB and CC. Now, two forces, this 8000 newtons newton unit couple, I need to represent with the two forces. So, one force I will consider as 4000 newtons and another force I will consider as 2000 newtons because these two, one force is acting in the downward direction, another force is acting in the upward direction. These two forces will introduce a couple in this direction just similar to the already existing 8000 newtons. And the distance between these two is equal to 2 units. This is 1 plus 1, so it is 2 units and this is 8000 newtons. So the same 8000 newtons, uh, newtons cup, uh, units couple, I can represent it like 4000 and 4000. 